Alright everyone, so today we have another unboxing, but this time it's from LLL Reptile. And what we're going to be doing in this video is unboxing this, this awesome reptile, and then we're going to be doing a review on the experience from customer service to the actual animal itself. So let's get started with the unboxing. Super excited about this. My unboxing knife. What do you think? Alright. So, I just have to say, it's supposed to be female, and I'm super excited because I don't know what it looks like, but I'm also su super nervous because I don't know what it looks like. So, let's uh, get this girl open. I'm so excited. I'll probably just speed this up. All right, got the final cut. Okie doke. It looks like this is gonna be the receipt. Very important for the species that I got to have the receipt and where it came from. Looks good. Awesome. Very important for the species. And since they are native, you have to get them pit tagged, which I will be doing here pretty soon. So, uh, I'm so excited. Oh, hoo, hoo, hoo. all right, we got some flyers, some packing. All right, it's good. Probably wasn't in focus. All right, so we got some packing peanuts. But here's the turtle. Oh, nice and warm. Oh, nice. All right, so this is going to be the challenging part, keeping it in frame while unboxing. And I do feel a little bit of, a little bit of pee. And as you can see, adult female Eastern box turtle right there. She actually seems, if this is her, she seems to be bigger than what they told me. She's, they said that they were, she was 5.4.5 inches. That's what I was and told that she was. So let me set her down for a sec to readjust my tripod. I was told she was 4.5 inches. So we're going to be doing a measurement right when we're done getting her. Get her out with this. Adult female Eastern box. I'm so excited for this because, you know, I said I was excited and nervous because I don't know what she looks like. There's so much variation with box turtles. Like, I'm super excited to know what she looks like, if she's gonna be like, I don't, I don't know, we'll have to see. I might have to run upstairs and get a pair of scissors. Oh, nope, I got it. All right, here we go. I got a little bit open, ooh hoo. Oh, man, what, this is like some special kind of stock, it has to be. Try not to look too much. All right, looks like it's probably enough to get her out. And three, two, one. Get her out. All right, she got a big chip. That's all right. Dang, this sock. Holy cow, what's up with this? I'm super interested to see what her colors are. Females. Eastern box generally are a little bit more drab, but I'm pretty curious. All right. Ooh, she's wide. She's wide. Yeah, it looks like a female so far. Just get her out. Dang, really packed her animal as well. All righty. Definitely looks like a female. That's a good looking box turtle if I do say so myself. She uh, has a big chip in her shell, but um, doesn't bother me too much, or at all, that is. She, uh, let's take a look at her colors here. Nice streaks of yellow and orange. Has a really, really light, I don't know if you can see that, really light brown eyes. It's really cool. Her shell has this really nice yellow brown pattern. 
and she, they said that she was four and a half inches. So we're gonna see, we have our measure here and they said they measured the plaster on. It looks like she's going to be about, just about five inches. They underestimated. So I don't wanna stress her out too much. Here she is. Let's get her in focus first. They said they measured the plaster on and it looks like she's just about five and a half inches long. Nice. She's actually bigger than the one I have now. So I need help guys. A name for this girl. I have three other Easterns right now. We have Turbo, Tiki, and Cleo. And we need a name for this girl. So this is her. This is the unboxing, and let's get on with the review. Okay, so review time. Is LLL Reptile worth it? I'm going to tell you my experience, starting off with the first email, a customer service. Now, I have, like, the newsletter, not, not the newsletter, but, like, I get sent an email whenever they restock the adult Eastern Box Turtles, and when I got that email, I immediately set, sent an email to them asking if it were possible to specifically order or request a larger adult female and by the time they got back with me they were all sold out except for one which is the one I have I'm not complaining about that I love the one I got but it stinks because by the time they got back with me there was a possibility that you know they would have all been gone and I would have been out but um, luckily they kept the one that she they kept the one that I got she is amazing I love her so much but um, the staff, the emails were fine, like great customer service. You know, they were professional. It's just maybe they were short staffed at the time and you know, they could bump up their email responses. I got about an email a day. If I send an email out in the morning, the next day, like within 24 hours, I would get another email, which I don't know if on the website it says within 24 hours or something like that. But generally I get an email, like when I've ordered from private breeders or private sellers or even other online places it's usually within three to four hours they email back this is like a whole an entire day now say you didn't email them first and you just put the animal in your shopping cart the ordering process was pretty smooth you know you and one thing I really liked about it is you got to select the day that you want the animal to arrive which in the past that I've ordered from companies it's just like you order on Monday it ships out on Tuesday and you get it on Wednesday this I love that you could select you could select like Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday and that's really great I think that's a great um, way to just help promote your stuff and get more sales but um the shopping cart like the process everything it was really smooth it was super easy to understand um, so that's like no big deal I know some places require you to like call in and place your order from call I know some people just aren't comfortable doing that but this was this is really really simple and it was it's arrival day you got your animal now I have watched other reviews in the past um, LL reptile I mean every reptile facility you're gonna buy from is gonna have good and bad reviews personally from what I found it looks like they had more negative reviews than positive reviews but after further inspection it was mostly like spiders and scorpions and more fragile animals rather than like bulky hardy like tortoises and box turtles but um my turtle came came obviously it was alive uh, it seems to be healthy it's active um so arrival day packaging how you get your animal you have to pick it up personally whether they require you to do that or not like anywhere Ella reptiles requires you to pick it up you know one-on-one -on -one with the mailman but it's just in my opinion if you can't pick it up one-on-one -on -one, don't don't get it because there's so much risk but uh that's beside the point um packaging was really really good as you can see here I have the box right here um as you can see it had like a really nice foam insulator with the packing peanuts it had a nice top on it and the bag it had a paper newspaper rolled up to keep the animal secure keep it stable a lot of people don't realize when it comes to turtles, land turtles, that they are comfortable in a small confined space. I mean, it's it would be like it would either be them in a box just rolling around, or them in a small area keeping them sturdy, dark, p 
people don't realize that's what reptiles like. So they always think it's animal cruelty or anything like that. No, this is normal way of packaging an animal. And overall, I'm pretty impressed with the packaging. Um, the box says live harmless reptiles on all four sides. And on the top, it says avoid extreme temperatures. So very, very nice boxing, well packaged. Um, the guarantees, this is the best part, okay? It's been a long time since I've ordered from an actual like business. I personally find private breeders, private sellers more reliable, but um, I'm I'm pretty impressed. They have some really good guarantees. They have a 100% live arrival guarantee, and I don't want to get this wrong, so don't quote me on this. But I believe it's a three-day guarantee afterwards. If there's something wrong with your animal, you have to send it in within 24 hours. Like send an email to them saying what what it is. But within three days of getting the animal, if it gets sick or something happens, I think they will like, I think you email them in and they'll take it from there. So it's not like you get it, if it's alive, then that you're out. You know, if it's alive and it's sick, then they'll take care of it versus some other place they might just say, well, we have a live arrival guarantee. We're not gonna guarantee that it's healthy. But LL Reptiles, it, they do seem to take care of their animals. Um, now let's get on to the animal itself. Now I'm more than aware that the animal I ordered versus an animal you might order, the, the the hardiness of the animal could vary, how the animal looks could vary. Like I don't want you to judge LL Reptile because of the, the gash my box turtle has on its shell. That's beside the point and I'll touch on that a little bit later. But um, different animals are going to have different outcomes. And from what I have noticed just from having the, the uh, turtle for about an hour now, she's got bright eyes, she's alert, she's active. I just noticed two things that I'm going to type up an email and send to LL Reptile, just letting them know. Um, number one, when I took her out of the packaging, if you noticed her mouth was, was going like this. A lot of times with upper respiratory infection, they have to breathe out of their mouth and kind of, it helps them open up their airway. I haven't noticed that just from her being in her um, temporary enclosure just to make sure she's healthy before putting them into the other reptiles but I don't know if that was just something because she was you know in a box all day or or what I'm gonna keep an eye on it another thing I noticed is she seems to have like a, a small little bulge on the side of her on the side of her neck on the right that could be a sign of a uh, ear abscesses it could be nothing um, I'm going to like I said send this to Ella reptile saying these concerns I have just to let them know that you know this isn't something that popped up a month later but um overall she's a healthy turtle you know she has bright eyes she's a healthy turtle and just one thing I need to point out she didn't she wasn't promoted as wild caught but she was wild caught you can tell a, a captive born eastern box wouldn't have a big gash on her show they wouldn't have nicks or anything like that unless it just wasn't taken care of at all. But um, here's the thing. I need to say this for my defense. I know this is like a side note. There are species that you cannot buy captive born adults because they just aren't available. That goes for Eastern box turtles, uh, a lot of Central American wood turtles, especially Russian tortoises. You just, you just can't find captive born adults, which unfortunately that's how Eastern box turtles are. Um, so here's my philosophy i'm going to touch on this in a different video this is a summary if you want a pet turtle okay if you just want a pet please please go the extra mile to get a captive born animal but if you're like me and you want to breed them and you want to increase their captive numbers you have basically no choice but to buy wild caught adults and it pains me to say that and i don't like buying wild caught adults i don't like supporting that but you have no choice, especially with Russian tortoises, Eastern box turtles, and Central American woods. There's really no choice. And the oldest captive born Eastern box I found was a, a yearling for $400. $400 versus getting an adult male and an adult female for $360, which was um, how I got Tiki and Cleo. It was a little bit over my price price range, but it's worth it. Tiki's 
they're they're just awesome. And lastly, I just want to say this is kind of like a um, this little bonus thing. They have like a decent like the, a receipt. Okay, the receipt is so important. In my opinion, if you're gonna buy an animal offline from an actual like like a retail or like an actual business, if they don't give you a receipt, don't buy the animal. Okay, because of this receipt here. If someone were to question me about the legality of this box order, I can say, here's the receipt. Um, I have the receipt for the other two that the, the one guy sent me. But um, the receipt is very important. If for some reason someone were to question you on your reptiles, that receipt just pr receipt proves that it's legal, it's yours, you bought it from them, you didn't catch it out of the wild. End of story. I do need the pit tiger since she is native to where I live. But, um, well, that made it worse. But that's that's no big deal. I have to pit tag my other boxes as well, along with my red eards, which is coming soon. So, LLA Reptile, yes or no? What's my opinion? From what I received today and the communications I had with them earlier, I would say 100% yes. I can't speak for, like, the lizards and the snakes and that. This is just from the, the turtle I got. But I would say absolutely, they have great customer service. They have a YouTube channel that you kind of get a look and to see what their their store is. They have stores in California. Um, but yeah, absolutely, I had a great experience. I'll keep you updated on her, uh, her health as well. But um, so far, so good. I think if you want to get an animal, Ella Reptile is a great place to go. Now, I do need to say this with caution because I've only ordered one animal. And with past experiences, one animal versus like 20, if you were to order another, like, let's say, there's an old website, I think they changed the name, it's called Turtle Shack, uh, don't ever buy from Turtle Shack, I don't know if, if it's even around anymore, but I got a turtle from Turtle Shack, it died within a year, um, no, 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 no. I got a turtle from Turtle Shack, it lived, it was so, it was perfectly healthy, it was a false map turtle, I named it Taz. And then I got two yellow bellies, which one of them came healthy, one of them came with a respiratory infection. That one respiratory infection contaminated the other two turtles, and they all ended up dying. And they did nothing about it. They did squat. They said, we'll give you a $10 store credit, which, when my, what do they have for sale? That's $10. But, um, L Reptiles, yes, I would say, with my experience, if you have a similar experience, You'll be very happy with it. So, um, this was the Ella Reptile unboxing interview. But before you leave, make sure to check out my channel if you haven't already. As you see, we have some really nice uh, land turtle paludarium. We have a uh, Russian tortoise enclosure up here, and a lot of other enclosures, so outdoor enclosures, ponds, yards, pens, tanks. Um, got a little bit of everything. Got a lot of animals here. Um, so make sure if you haven't already subscribe okay you won't regret it i promise also if you aren't new here make sure to let me know a name for this box turtle and please i had nothing against this name at all just please don't comment shelly okay i'm not gonna name a turtle shelly it's just so like it's shelly anyway uh thanks for watching have a great day i hope you enjoyed this video and you guys are the best subscribe I noticed this already, but have a great day.